OBS Studio Mode is an amazingly powerful tool that can take your live streams to the next level. Today I'm going to show you how to use it. So let's get to it. First I want to add a new scene. So I click the plus button at the bottom of scenes. Then I'm going to name this scene Tutorial and click OK. Now I want to add a camera to this scene. So I go into Sources. I click the little plus button in the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to select Video Capture Device. I'm going to name this device DSLR. Then I'm going to click OK. Under Device, I'm going to select Cam Link number 2. That's my DSLR. Then I'm going to set the preset to High. This will fit the screen into my canvas size, which is 1920 by 1080. Then I'm going to click OK. We're going to add a microphone now. We're going to click that plus in Sources again and go to Audio Capture Input. And I'm just going to select cap card here because I already know that's the microphone I'm looking for. Now I'm going to select studio mode. And this is where things get really interesting. On the right hand side of the screen you see a box called program. And inside program is what people on the live stream are seeing. On the left hand side of the screen you see one called preview. This is one that you can actually build while you're live streaming and then switch to it. Let me show you a couple of things you can do with this. The first thing I do is click the plus button next to scenes. We're going to add another one. We're going to call this tutorial 2 and click OK. Now in sources we want to go ahead and add our camera and our microphone just the same as we did for the first scene. Now you can see we have two scenes that are exactly the same. But we're going to add more. Under sources I'm going to click that little plus button in the lower left hand corner and then we're going to go to color source. I'm just going to call this color source background and click OK. Now I want to select the color of my background and I want to change the size of this box. We're going to go 1000 pixels wide and 300 pixels tall. Then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to move this box down into the bottom left hand corner here. And now what I'm going to do with this box is I'm just going to add some text. So let's say you're doing a live broadcast where somebody asks a question in the chat or maybe you have a form where you have live questions. You can flip over to that screen and copy out the text. Then I'm going to click the plus button in Sources. I'm going to go to Text. I'm just going to call this text Tutorial. Click OK. Then I'm going to select the font I want to use. Then where it says Text, I'm going to go ahead and paste that copy I did before. Just going to beautify it up. Make sure it sits right. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, select Outline, and then click OK. And I could just move this text over my box and resize it. Now I'm going to go back into the box and I'm going to reduce the size here. Instead of 300, we're going to go with 200 and boom. Now we have some text display in our preview. I'll just center this up. Now here's the really cool part. All I have to do is click on one of the transitions I have set up here in the center. If you don't know how to create a transition, I'll leave a link at the end of the video to show you how to create OBS transitions really easy. But all you have to do is select a transition and that preview becomes the program, meaning that that's what people are going to see on the live broadcast. Now you notice that the one that was the program has now become the preview. So we can go in and add an element to that one. In this case, I'll show you how to add something that somebody said on Twitter. So I just flip over to Twitter. Now I'm doing this on a Mac, so I select Command V4. I create a box around the piece that I want to create an image out of. These images are automatically saved to your desktop. Then under Sources, I click the plus button and I select Image. Then I name the image and click OK. Now I'm going to browse to that image I just captured. Select it and click Open. And you can see it puts that image in there. Now all I need to do is resize that image to make it however big I want. I click one of these transition buttons and boom, that is now on the live broadcast. You would see how this would be a great way to interact with your audience during a live stream. And if you have a producer who's actually running your stream, this is even easier. Finally, I'm going to show you how to do this really quick. So I flip over to another screen. I select the text I want. I click Command V, which is copy on a Mac. I flip back over and since we already have the text created, I only need to right click on it and go to properties. Now where it says text, I just select everything that's already there. I click Command V, which is paste on a Mac. And then I just reformat the text any way I like in the box. Then I just click one of these transitions and boom, that becomes live. This process can work extremely well if you want to highlight something that someone says in the comments. You can actually have the two preview windows be completely different text and just swap back and forth between the two, changing out the text on the preview each time. If you're looking to create awesome transitions for your live stream, you should check this video out right here. My name is Michael Fire Jr. This channel's all about tools, tips, and tricks that can help you become a better YouTuber. If that's something you're into, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel so you know when we have new content coming out. 
Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.